welcome viewers in this video we'll see the equivalent circuit of alternator subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic equivalent circuit of the alternator so this is the equivalent circuit the e phase the generated emf in the alternator v phase is the voltage available at the low terminal so in between drop is there resistance drop and reactance drop so this ra is the armature resistance per phase so the sum of the voltage will be drop across ra similarly x ar is nothing but armature reaction drop xl is the leakage reactance so this is a reactive drop also there after reactive drop and resistance drop remaining voltage will be available across the load so this is the equivalent circuit so we'll see this term one by one e phase is the induced emf per phase v phase is terminal voltage per phase this is the induced emf this is the voltage available at the load terminal ia phase is the armature current per phase ra is the armature resistant per phase x a r armature reactants reaction re reactants x l is leakage reactants x s that is adding these two x a r and x l will give the synchronous reactants then adding this x s and r a will give the impedance synchronous impedance so these are all the parameters right so in the next step we will add these two x a r a r and x l leakage reactance and armature reaction reactance so while adding what happened so x l and x a r is added so it become x s synchronous reactance so this is replaced x l this x l and x a r is replaced by single single reactance x s this x s plus R A, yeah, R A plus J X S is nothing but impedance, synchronous impedance. So this, so this two term is replaced by synchronous impedance. So this is the final equivalent circuit. E phase, I A phase, then synchronous impedance, then V phase, voltage across the load. So E phase is nothing but V phase. plus drop so that is a voltage equation now we'll see the voltage equation based on this equivalent circuit we'll see the voltage equation the emf generated in an alternator e phase is not available completely at the load due to the drop across ra and xs so e phase is not available exactly some of the amount is dropped across ra and xs so that e phase equal to v phase load voltage plus resistive drop ia ra and reactance drop ia xs this ra plus xs is nothing but zs impedance synchronous impedance so this is the final voltage equation of the alternator e phase equal to v phase plus drop ia zs this is the voltage equation of alternator based on the voltage equation we have phasor diagram we can draw the phasor diagram for lagging power factor load leading power factor load and unity power factor load so separate video available for these three power factors lagging leading and unity right so the our aim is in this phasor diagram our aim is v phase is the vector sum of e phase is the vector sum of v phase and drop synchronous reactance drop so in this video we discuss equivalent circuit of alternator followed by voltage equation subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination